Hello students, today we will discuss about the character of Napoleon. Napoleon is a fictional character and the main antagonist of George Orwell's 1945 novel Animal Form. He is described as a larger, rather fierce looking Berkshire boar who is not much of a talker and has a reputation for getting his own way. While he is at first a common farm pig, he exiles Snowball another pig who is his rival for power and then take advantage of the animals uprising against their masters to eventually become the tyrannical president of animal form which he turns into a dictatorship napoleon's greatest crime however is his complete transformation into mr jones original owner of animal form Although Napoleon is a much harsher than Mr. Jones, Napoleon is a boar who takes part in the revolt against Mr. Jones. Afterwards, he co-leads the farm animals with Snowball. Napoleon is aggressive, militaristic and manipulative. Although he is not great at public speaking, he is able to get his own way. In the novel's Allegory of the Russian Revolution, Napoleon represents Soviet politician Joseph Stalin. Napoleon, along with Squealer and Snowball, expends upon Old Maser's teaching after his death, although at first he works alongside Snowball. Napoleon begins to work against him. After the revolt of the animal, Napoleon, Snowball and the other pigs begin to manage men of form, which they rename animal form. The renaming of the farm is akin to the Russian Empire being renamed the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics or the Soviet Union. Napoleon, Snowball and Squealer teach themselves to read and write. With this skill they create seven commandments. Napoleon and the other pig establish that pigs will not partake in physical labor. Instead, they will be supervisors of physical labor while doing all the mental work to keep the farm running. This marks a clear division between the leaders in power and the workers without power. Napoleon dislikes Snowball's ideas of committees and adult animals' education. He believes that it is more important to focus on teaching the young instead of old. He takes the nine puppies that Jesse and Bluebell birth and begins a strenuous education for them in private. Napoleon also acquires his own following of animal, separate from Snowball with furative efforts. At the Battle of the Cowshed, Napoleon plays a minor role as Snowball is the greatest strategist. Yet, later on, Napoleon claims that he was the hero of the battle and declare himself a war hero. When the animals are divided between Napoleon and Snowball's views over the creation of a windmill, the pigs put it up for a vote. It is clear that Snowball's ideas have swayed the animals. Napoleon then calls upon Jesse and Bluebell puppies, whom he has now trained into Vicious dog, to run Snowball of the form this forced exile represents Leon Trotsky's exile from the Soviet Union and Joseph Stalin's rise to power. Like Stalin, Napoleon begins to become a dictator. He uses Squealer as his main source of communication and propaganda. Napoleon slowly begins to exhibit human attitude and behaviors. For example, he sells hay, wheat, and hence eggs. The animals can vaguely remember they had all agreed to never sail, trade or interact with humans, yet they are all too scared of Napoleon and his dogs to question him. As Napoleon continues to violate the seven commandments, he has a squealer change the writing to make it seem like the rules had been that way all along. Napoleon is also quick to blame others to save his power in particular blaming Snowball for the destruction of the windmill and for many problems on the farm. To maintain control through fear, Napoleon executes several animals on the farm when they admit to being in league with Snowball or to committing crimes on the farm. He then abolishes the song Beast of England which had been a source of hope and pride for the animals. Napoleon replaces this 
it with his own song in napoleon dealing with human forms george orwell uses the forms as an allegory for prominent countries and their leaders leading up to wwii the neighboring form of foxwood is run by mr plington who represent leaders of the uk and the usa while pinchfield farm is owned by mr frederick who represent adolf hitler the lead, the leader of nazi germany napoleon destroys animal farm good relation with foxwood farm by accepting a trade deal with pinchfield farm pinchfield farm then betrays napoleon napoleon fears that mr frederick will attack animal farm when napoleon tries to ask for help from foxwood farm they refuse this distrust between all the farms and farmers reflects the distrust among western and european countries in the mid to late 1930s as napoleon expected mr frederick destroys the animals windmill and engages in a battle with them the animals manage to scare mr frederick and his men away by the end of the book napoleon has become a dictatorial leader he decides to send boxer to a horse slaughterer and profits from the animal's labor he and the other pigs have taken possession of jones house they drink alcohol and sleep on baths both of which are violations of the original seven commandments napoleon brainwashes the other farm animals they no longer can remember the idealistic beginning of animal farm Napoleon convinces them to believe that the truest happiness lay in working hard and living frugally. Napoleon and the other pigs begin to walk on two legs as much as to shock the other animals and violates one of the commandments. Napoleon trains the sheep to support this new practice. They now say four legs good, two legs better. The other animals find they can't argue. Eventually the barn wall has only one commandment. All animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others. This heralds the rapid change of the pigs who begin to wear clothes, carry whips, smoke pipes and fraternize with the humans. Although they do not know it that the animals are back in the same situation as when Mr Jones reigned the farm. Napoleon takes away the animal's flag, the skull of the old major and changes the name from animal form back to men of form. In the end the other animals can't tell the difference between the pigs and the men.